Per me è un convinto. Che vuoi che parlo italiano o inglese? Eh? Eh, perché non parlare qua? E chi deve aiutare dopo non capisce, ma... <laughs> I'm talking in English and I'm uh, photographing my brother Vince's place. These are called piccolinis, which piccolinis are found all over Europe, called prickly pears. Now I'm moving to a beautiful picture which he has in the backyard painted by a special artist, I don't know what was his name, but it probably will come nice, and his rockery work at the back. I'm now stepping backwards, if I don't fall over, because I'm keeping the eyes at the front. There it is, and I'm going to zoom now to the beautiful little house that was in Italy. And now I'm zooming out again. Uh-oh, we better not take this. That don't look very nice. And the door to get in. Now, I'm coming in contact with an animal, which if I think he doesn't like me, but I'm still going to get him. I'll try and zoom on him. This is commonly known as an Australian cocky. If you get too close to him, most likely your fingers will disappear into the unknown and then chewed up noise but if you keep well away from him he will be very friendly to you i'll try and get close to him and see what he does i can see that he's got that uneasy feeling yes there yeah, i'm getting away from him it's all right mate nothing is going to happen to you all you're going to go is being on camera there you are Oh, what a pair of eyes. Good blimey. Now we'll see the rest of his torso. And that is commonly known as an Australian cockatoo. Now we're filming Vinnie Boy's junk shed. Lawn mowers. Tool for cutting timber and then all the other things that he has fridge to keep his old fish when he goes fishing and here we walk into the spectacular rear garden which he stays there and works 24 hours a day ha 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 mm -hmm. and then we see the other things we we, oh, I think that's where he grinds his teeth, yes, and his nails, and then here we have a, a beautiful bush, and many other things, and his barbecue, which has cooked me. Now we're approaching the Garden of Eden as we step out here we will see all the beautiful garden hanging baskets which he has Grace spends her valuable hours fiddling around with these things here and she finds it very enjoyable now we're going to approach more animals. These are commonly known as lovebirds, which produce a tremendous amount of little birds. And there they are, in love, kissing and cuddling. I'll zoom to 
try and get them much closer to you. Oh, aren't they lovely? Lovebirds. And they're so happy in themselves. Playing with each... Mm -hmm. Got to be careful here. Playing. And now we move away to the other garden, which he has. Oh, that's nice. Grace spends most of her time in here. Nothing to do in Australia, except looking after all the pots and plants. There we are. Uh, obviously you must hear the little birdies in the background. There we are, little birdies. Oh, God, there's three of them. She doesn't take long to make an extra one. They call us birds. Hmm. Yeah. Now I will show you an Australian lemon tree. Loaded full of lemons. Maybe I'll zoom it in. There you are, the lemons galore. Yes. They retail at 20 cents each here in Australia. But as a bargain price, I'll give them to you for 10 cents each. Okay, I'm now about to fade away. Fade, my baby. be fading, I will show you an Australian driver in Brothers Vince's house. Air conditions, special back on windows. In here in Australia, we do have what they commonly known as, wait until I get to it, chimneys. What a thrill. <laughs> chimneys, yeah. Chimney are for keeping people warm in their old age and they don't know what to do. Now I'm moving to the front and there uh, you will see a car which is an Australian car, a Holden. I will get back to it. It's called Bellina Holden. There. That belongs to his brother Joe. It's a lovely car. And there you see an olive tree which produces olives. The cars that are passing by. The street in front of us. in front of the house as you look. Here. Now I'm about to cross over the road and if I don't get skittled by these doing cars which come looming at me, I'm liable to give you a more lovely picture of the front house. Now I'm across the road looking on the other side of the street and just coming over. I hope to go a bit faster, showing you the house next door, which is this one. And then there is the Trevaglia residence with the antenna on the top and the pink and chimney will keep everybody warm. He has his boat at the front. And that's the street which I nearly got skittled as I came through. 77 Rowan's Road. R-A-W-A-N-D-S. 
Australia. Motor. Australian motor, which is Evan Root. And a Savage boat. Savage, I don't mean the sense that it's Savage, it won't harm you. But it is the aim of the boat. We catch snappers and all sorts of lovely fish in this pool. Now, this is the seat that these and dear friends sit every day as they have nothing to do and look at all the cars as they go through. Oh my goodness, that runs well. Now I will zoom on this beautiful... Oh no, I'm zooming the opposite way. On this lovely tree and zooming into it again. 